Your Raptor Series air-powered lug chucks should be completely inspected and serviced every 6 to 12 months. In order for this service to be performed, it is necessary to remove the chuck from your machine. Remove all air from the chuck before removing it from your machine. If you are using the 6-inch adapter, remove this before removing the chuck from the machine as well. Take care when removing the chuck since it weighs 37 pounds. Place it onto a workbench with the back plate facing up. Insert the special machine screws into the holes on the back side of the chuck. Tightening these will separate or jack the diaphragm retaining ring from the back of the chuck. Remove the diaphragm from the ring, taking care not to overstretch it. Place the diaphragm back into the actuator assembly. Turn the assembly over, taking care not to pinch the diaphragm against the work surface when doing so. Using the appropriate Allen wrench, remove two, but not all three, of the lugs by loosening the guide pin for two of the lugs. Remove the two lugs. Now use caution when loosening the guide pin for the third lug, since it is holding spring tension within the actuator. Turn the assembly over again and depress the actuator by hand to remove the tension. Remove the final lug. Turn the assembly on its side and remove the wedge block by pushing it in or tapping on the end with a soft blunt material such as wood or aluminum. Check all parts for wear and replace the spring only if it is broken. Clean all parts. To insert the wedge block back into the actuator body, align the slots in the actuator with the slots in the wedge block. Install the recommended dry lubricant into the lug slots and backsides of the lugs before assembly. Complete the assembly and reinstall on your machine. Contact Tidland for more specific information about Raptor Series air-powered lug chucks.